And Sky 5 was there this afternoon as smoke and flames consumed a barn down in Williamson County. Firefighters say they have figured out the cause. It was a controlled burn that spread too far with high winds and the dry weather. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb was there to see how firefighters tackled this blaze. A total of 15 fire units responded to this controlled burn that quickly got out of control, causing a lot of damage and tying up traffic for hours. The Franklin Fire Department says the fire off Franklin Road broke out shortly after 3 p.m., quickly spreading. The police department tweeted out this picture of the fire at its biggest. The fire department says it all started on this property of dozens of acres with a controlled burn. A worker burning a brush pile that um, quickly got out of tr out of control with the high winds and the, and the dry brush and the dry conditions. The fire department says it quickly spread to the hillside and burned several acres. 15 units responded to the blaze after the fire spread to a nearby barn, tractor, and trees. We had uh, units all throughout the, the hillside protect, uh, protecting the, the field and the hillside and the woods um, to keep the fire from, from spreading further to other structures on, on property. That worker ended up getting injured trying to fight the fire before it got too big, going to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And the fire department issued a warning, saying today was probably not the best day to do an open burn. And especially on uh, when there's dry conditions and windy days, um, you, it's safe to assume that um, it's not a good idea and definitely uh, wait until there's more favorable conditions to do that. A warning the Franklin Fire Department says you should heed as one person today escaped what could have been a life-ending blaze. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. The state of Tennessee started requiring burn permits for brush fires back on October 15th. Many counties have burn bans in place right now. Those burn permits are needed until next May.